Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, we are talking about 1.2 today in your pre-calculus book on page 13. Is that, uh, that's where it starts. So we're talking about exponential form, exponents, and radicals. And this should be somewhat reviewed, so I'm going to go pretty quickly. Um, so exponential notation is essentially, if we have a to the n power, right? It's just multiplying the base a or n number of times, okay? So essentially a to the n, or if you want to think about it, two to the fourth power, that equals two times two times two times two which is 16, right? Okay, so that's just the basics of it. And A, we call the base, and N, we call the exponent. All right, so there are rules of exponents, okay, and we're gonna cover them really quickly. Most of this you guys already know. So if A is not zero, right, does not equal zero, and N is positive, then anything to the zero power equals one. One million to the zero power equals one, okay? Whenever you have a negative exponent, all we're gonna do is just flip it and put it in a denominator and then that'll be positive, okay? Your, your, your power or your exponent is positive when you take the reciprocal and vice versa. If you have an exponent that is negative in my denominator, you flip it and you put it in the numerator as a positive, all right? And here are some diff, uh, different rules. If we have two bases and we have, we have the same base, right? And we have different powers, all we're gonna do is just add up the powers. So for example, again, I'm gonna just go with a simple example of two to the third times two to the second, Right, that would be two to the three plus two, which equals uh, two to the fifth power, which is 32, okay? So that's how you can think about it. Um, again, if you wanted to, you could just say two to the third power is what, eight times two to the second power is four, eight times four is also 32. So they come out to be the same answer. Okay, so that's how that works. The next one, let me, the next one is if we have a division amongst the same base, right? A two and a two, and m a to the m power over a to the n power, we're gonna subtract the bases or the exponents, I'm sorry, okay? So that in that case, take a look at this. So I'm gonna break this down like, let's go with three to the third power over three to the second power, okay? That would be if, if we're using this rule, three to the three minus two, right? Three minus two, the exponents, which would be three to the first power or three. Right. And again, you could think about this one of two ways. The first way is three to the third power is 27, right? Three times three times three. Three to the second power is nine. Three times three. 27 divided by nine is three. Okay. What we can also think about, I'm going to rewrite this here, the problem here, right? Three to the third divided by three to the second, is we can make this as three times three times three, the exponential notation, right? Over three to the second is three times three. Well, I know divide division, we can just cancel these guys out, right? This three cancels out with this three, this three cancels out with this three, and we only have a three left. So however you want to um, think about it, you get the same answer, okay? All right, so that's that. Um, the next couple I'm just gonna cover really quickly. 
if we have one base and multiple exponents, all we're going to do is um, multiply the exponents. If it's division, right, A divided by B to the n power, this n power goes to both the A and the B. All right. And then the last one, again, if not the last one, but the last one on this page, A times B to the n power, the n is distributed to the A and the B. Okay. All right. So now we have a couple more. Okay. If we have a negative n, right, a negative exponent here, A divided by B to the n power, what we can do to get rid of the negative exponent is to flip what's inside. So A over B becomes B over A. Okay, take the reciprocal. All right. We could do that, or we could think about it like this. Okay, where, hey, look, I I'm gonna distribute the negative N power, rule number five. Okay, if you guys look back at the, um, the rules, and then since it's um, negative exponent, I'm going to use rule number one to flip it. And we come out with the same thing. This is the same thing as this, because if I use rule number five again, I'm going to distribute the n out, right? Okay, and make it look like this. So that is the rules of exponents. Let me um, now turn to some examples. And let me try and do something really simple. Okay. Example one. Two a to the third, a to the second, all to the fourth power. Okay, so that is my example there. Okay, and you guys can refer back to your rules. Okay. I'm going to have it out here on the side. So I'm just going to um, call out the numbers that I'm using. So I see multiple A's, right? The same base. And I see different uh, exponents. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to clean this up using rule number two. Okay. Since I have two bases and two exponents, I can add the exponents up. Okay, so that's rule number two. Okay, so then that would be 2a to the 3 plus 2 is fifth power to the fourth power. Okay, and now this fourth power can be distributed using rule number six. All right, rule number six. We can go two to the fourth power times a to the fifth power to the fourth power. I distributed that four out, right? Using rule number six. So cleaning this up, simplifying this, two to the fourth power is two times two times two times two, which is 16, right? Two times two is four, two times two is four, four times four is 16. And here, since I have a power to a power, I'm going to use rule four to multiply the powers, which gets me 16a to the 20th. Okay. All right. So that is just one quick example of the rules. Should I try and give you guys a hard one? Yeah, let's go for it. This is number 69 on your uh, book, 69A. X to the three halves over Y to the negative one half to the fourth power times X to the negative two over Y to the third power. What? I just jumped from an easy example to this example. I know that there's a gap, but 
I know that um, in class, we can talk about the gap if you guys have any questions. Okay, just take it step by step. Okay, I do see a four here. So I'm gonna deal with that first. Okay, I am going to distribute that using one of my rules. That's rule number five. So X to the three half, to the fourth power over y to the negative one half to the fourth power, okay? Times, I'm gonna make this guy because it's negative. I'm gonna put it on the bottom. So x squared times y to the third, okay? Using the rules, um, you guys can do this, all right? So I know there's a power to a power with one base. So I'm gonna multiply the bases out in my head, three halves times four, that's six. Yeah, three halves times four is six. So X to the sixth power over, doing this math in my head, Y to the negative two, right? Times, one over x squared times y to the third, okay? Now I see this is negative and you guys could have just done it, done it here as well if you guys wanted to, but I'm gonna put it on the top. So x to the six times y squared, right? Now it's on my, my numerator times one over x squared times y to the third, okay? So this goes there. And then this would be y, x to the six times y squared over x squared times y to the third. Okay, now I have a division problem, right? And I'm gonna use rule number three to deal with that division. So x to the six minus two, because x these bases, right? The X bases have six and a two, so I can subtract them. And then Y two minus three times Y two minus three. So that becomes X to the fourth times Y to the negative one. Since this is a negative, I can put it on the bottom. And I don't need a one as my exponent because one is already kind of given, okay? The silent one. All right. And if you guys didn't understand that, um, just hold your questions off until we meet. But those are the rules of exponents and that's how you would simplify, okay? The next thing that we would have to do is scientific notation, okay? Where scientific notation is A times 10 to the N power where your A value is between one and 10, but it cannot be equal to 10, okay? And N is a whole number and integer. It could be a negative number, but it could be, it has to be a whole number, all right? So that, I'm just gonna leave it like that, okay? Actually, I'm gonna show you guys an example. This is number 83A. 83a, we do have, hold on for a second. 